Anybody here used to dig holes in the backyard and pour molten lead head nails in to make sinkers for fishing? No, you are much higher tech than that. No, but people who, who work with molten metal, and particularly in that part of the world, you'd see the bowl of the molten metal, and you know what comes to the top? All the rubbish, all the, all the impurities, all the scum that doesn't have to do with the actual clear and pure molten metal, and as this thing, as it's heated and heated, all the scum, right, and it's scooped off by the person who's sitting there watching it. And I can remember, as a young person, being taught, how does the person who's watching the molten metal know when it's pure? Because he can see a clear image reflected in the surface of the molten metal. There's no impurity or rubbish or scum. He can see his image reflected in the surface of the metal. And all those passages about, you read about Paul who talks about you know, hardship building character and you know, those sorts of things. That we are fired, we are tried, we are smelted to be this metal that God looks at and sees, not rubbish and dirt and junk and all the impurities, but the image of himself 